Hi, Linda Goodall here. I've dumped out all the accessories from those little bags in the bottom of my accessory kit and we're going to go through each one to see what they are. So we're going to start with the needles. And here I have a little accessory kit of needles. They're a variety pack. This needle is a specialty needle. It's a twin needle. It's a size 11-2 and what that means is that there's two millimeters between the needles and it's a size, they're size 11 needles. So it's got one shaft and two needles. So you just use two threads. You still only use one bobbin because that's all we have. And they're really cool. We'll have a video on that. This is a stylus for use on the LCD screen. We have a seam ripper because everyone knows as you sew, so shall you rip. We have a little tool for cleaning out the machine. It's very important. A thread net to go over slippery threads to keep them from coming off too quickly. A pair of scissors and some tools back here. This is an eyelet punch. So this is used to punch out the centers of eyelets, obviously, and you'll use a little board or a cutting mat. We have two screwdrivers that both will operate in the same size screws and they're used for changing the needle and other various things. This smaller screwdriver is used to adjust the screw on this auxiliary bobbin case. So this is for doing bobbin work and there's a little tiny screws back here. Uh, this one is the one that you will adjust the tension for for doing bobbin work and there's a manual on bobbin work in your packet. We have four bobbins. We have three here. One is still in the machine. It's empty so we'll be winding a bobbin fairly soon. Bobbin clips to wrap around the bobbins to keep them from falling out. Now I want to point out about the bobbins is um, that you want to make sure that you get the right size bobbins. These are class 15 bobbins and the other common size of bobbin is a size L. And they're the same diameter but they're different thickness. So the size L will actually fit right inside a class 15 bobbin. So you can see that it's actually shorter. You want to make sure you use the right size bobbins because bobbins are critical for proper stitch. These are spool caps and you want to use the right size for the spool that you've chosen and it needs to be a little bit bigger than your spool. So you have three sizes of spool caps for the three common sizes of spools. So large one for large, medium for medium. We have one other thing here and this is the secondary spool pin and it goes on the bobbin winder. So let me show you where that is. So up here on the top of the machine, you just pop it on there and you can put a second spool of thread on there if you're doing uh, twin needle work or some other specialty work. And that's pretty much it for the accessories in the, the bottom of the box. So we'll be looking at the feet in another video. Thanks for watching.